Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to try to figure out the Flexbox and Canvas code and how to make it work for a banner and four buttons. So I'm on this uh, page that has some code here. I'm going to copy it. This is just indicating this image on the right here, which has the banner image, but only two boxes for the buttons. And you can see this second button actually is eight long and the this button three is four rows long so what I want is four buttons of equal size and because we only have 12 rows that's going to be three rows per button so I'm going to alter this code once I get into canvas so let's put it in canvas I'm going I've already uploaded my little buttons in my banner in the file section so I'm going to create a page Let's see if I can find it. Uh, I think I saved it. It's called Flexbox. So I'm going to click on Edit. And we'll get into the code by clicking the little HTML symbols there. It's got my old stuff in there, but I'm going to start over. So I'm putting in this. Um, this one's going to have the banner, the one that says your content here. You can see it's 12, which is the length of rows in the that's the max so it's going to go across the entire page for the first button um, it says X column 12 and then it's got an 8 here we're going to change that to a 3 and we're going to change the next one to a 3 so out of those 12 rows this button's going to take up 3 and then we're going to add two more so I'm just going to copy and paste this code here and then we'll go back out of the HTML and now we have four sort of, or sorry five so this top line this is where we're gonna put the banner in so I'm gonna delete the text there click on the image icon and I do have these already in canvas so instead of that icon I'm actually gonna click the down arrow and go to course images because I've already uploaded these this is an easier way to go I just pick on the right sample banner and that's going to go in there then we can scroll down a little bit into the second row this is going to be the first button so I'll do, whoops I want to be careful not to delete the image you can always undo so I'm going to delete the text same process I'm going to do that um, down course images and it, it'll open up here and then I can pick which one I want first so I'm going to put the syllabus first so that's an image I'll add Next, I'm going to delete that there, and we're going to do uh, modules, and the third one button will do contact me. Whoops, I forgot to delete it, so I actually will do that over again, just delete that. And then we're going to do that image down, course images, contact me. And for the final one, let's take that one out. And I'll try doing it without clicking on the icon, see if it works. Online tutoring, yeah, it does. So you don't have to keep opening this up. All right, so we've got all our images and we've got our, we've got our banner. So you can see there's five issues with accessibility. That's alt text, you'll wanna add that. I'll, you can do that at a later time, but for this demo, I'm not gonna spend time on the alt text and let's see what this looks like so I'm gonna click save and so for some reason the modules is weird I'll go into the code to see what's happening the first one looks okay that's this this one that's the banner and the second one looks fine the third one is where we get a little bit of too much stuff. So I don't know what's going on here for contact. Very strange. And we have contact also down here. So what I'm going to do is just delete this code. And I'm going to paste in, copy and paste that other one. Let's see what this looks like. So now you'll see I have two syllabuses, but I'm going to save it and make sure it looks okay first. 
Yeah, so now it's working, but I'm going to replace this one. You might just have to mess around a few times to get it right. So instead of the syllabus, I'm going to delete it, and we're going to add the module one. Course images, and we'll do modules, and I'm going to click save just to preview it. Okay, now it looks good. So you'll see there's no space below the banner. That's a pretty easy fix. You just go to edit and go inside the code. And then this tag at the top, this is the one for the banner. It ends in this forward slash div here. And there's actually a easy way to add a breakpoint. So you just make the open tag BR, close it. And I'm going to do that twice. And those are just two line breaks I've added to the code. And if we save it, you'll see what that does. Um, doesn't do anything. So I probably put it in the wrong place. Canvas doesn't like me today. OK. And you can see there they are there. So let's just try moving them, moving them after the second div tag here and tag here on line four save let's see if that's gonna win yeah there it is okay so that's how you get that little space there and now to add image links and you can see these are fully uh, dynamic and if it gets too small it'll spit them down vertically um, so that's all right, it's doing what it's supposed to. I'm going to try to add um, links to these. Um, so let's just get a sample web address and then inside of Canvas, click on the image and we're going to click on link and put a link in each one to see what this does. <coughs> Sometimes this doesn't do something. Let's see. Click on save. Yeah, and here's what it does. It makes everything look like crap. So to fix that, we have to click on edit again. And on each one of these images, you're going to click on them and click image options. And we're going to change this from pixels to percentage and we're going to leave it at 100 so we'll do that it's going to make everything look weird at first but hopefully this will work out all right so now that they're all at 100 percent i'll click save and now everything looks good. These links are going to open up the new pages when you click on them. Always test your links. You have to go in and add the alt text as well. But this is pretty much as good as I could get it to work. And it's doing what it's supposed to and it doesn't look horrible. So I think I'm happy with it for now. Thanks for watching.